Big Herc 916, positivity, motivation. Never settle for average. Go to BigHerc916.com, pick up some merch. We got these dope muscle up tank tops on there. Got a bunch of other merch. Got some soap. You can wash your ass, stop stinking. And hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, man. The channel is blowing up, it's growing. You guys are supporting. And I'm also doing big things on my Muscle Up Car Lifestyle channel. Links in the description. And sign up for the website. Subscribe to the website so you can get on the email list for the next men's panel going down July 30th, 1 p.m. Mountain Time on Zoom. No YouTube bullshit. This story right here, I ran across this and I had to share it with you guys because it's crazy, man. Rudy Farias found he was a Texas man reported missing as a teen in 2015, but he returned home the next day, police said. So this cat, Rudy, was reported missing in 2015. The next day he actually came home after he was reported missing, but the mom kept up the charade, man. So, in a stunning twist, a Texas man who was found outside a church last week, eight years after his mother reported him missing as a teenager, had never been missing in the first place. Houston police announced at a news conference Thursday, Rudy Ferriaris, now 25, had been reported missing the day after he disappeared while walking his dogs on March 6, 2015, according to police. He was found outside a church on June 29th, police said. Police announced Thursday that Rudy returned home the following day on March 8th, 2015, but his mother allegedly kept deceiving police, insisting her son was missing, ABC News reported. Both Fariaris and his mother had interactions with police over the years during which they allegedly gave fake names, police said. So this cat was given a fake name every time he came across police contact. Although Ferriaris' mother filed a missing person report, no charges are being filed at this time regarding filing false reports or providing false names, police said. Ferriaris' mother had allegedly claimed her nephew was the person friends and family were seen coming and going, authorities said. Police said they spoke with relatives, friends, neighbors, and medical professionals in their investigation to determine Ferriaris was never missing. Ferriaris and his mother were interviewed by Houston police on Wednesday. Ferriaris did not make any statements about sexual assault in his interview with police authorities said. Ferriaris is currently safe and is with his mother by choice, police said. So this is an ongoing investigation. Quinnell X, a well-known community activist in Houston said, Ferriaris told him he was sexually abused and heavily drugged by his mother for years. I never heard of a mother doing to a child what this woman did, he said. That boy needs to go to the best drug rehab and best psychological mental health facility we can find for him. He's a good kid. That kid was just severely abused. Quinnell said Ferriaris told him he ran away in 2015 but returned two days later. Ferriaris reportedly told Cornell that his mother threatened him, saying he would get into trouble with police if he said anything. Ferriaris claims he wasn't allowed to leave home for the last eight years, according to Cornell. When asked why he wouldn't leave, Cornell explained that Ferriaris told him his mother would give him drugs and said he was afraid to go to police. She convinced him that he was in trouble for initially running away and that law enforcement wanted to arrest him and put him in jail for running away, Quinnell said. She had convinced him that all types of agencies were looking for him to put him in jail. This is some twisted shit, man. Ferriaris ultimately had enough and wanted his mother to respect his boundaries, according to Quinnell. The man reportedly took his mother's credit card and left. Police later found him at a church in Houston on Thursday. Meanwhile, neighbors claimed they never knew Ferraris was reported missing, saying they would see him around. The Texas Center for Missing, for missing shared the following statement on behalf of the family when Ferraris was found. 
We want to thank the media and public for all their support. My son, Rudy Ferraris, was found on Thursday, June 29th after being missing for eight years. Currently, we do not have an additional information on Rudy's case. What we do know is that at the time of his recovery, a good Samaritan located him unresponsive and immediately called police at 911. My son, Rudy, is receiving the care he needs to overcome his trauma, but at the, this time, he is nonverbal and not able to communicate with us. We are asking for privacy during this difficult time, but we'll share more details as Rudy continues to heal. Um, the chief of the Houston Fire Department told ABC 13 that Friaris refused to be transported by ambulance, which his mother signed off on, and he was left in his family's care. Friaris' mother shared pictures with ABC 13, claiming she brought her son to the hospital. At the time, the mother believed her son had been beaten, abused, and kidnapped all these years. Another neighbor said he's seen Ferraris living at his mother's home for years. I was just shocked someone over there, I was just shocked someone over here was missing and we see him, he said. It's shocking to everyone. What kind of shit? This is like a Stephen, Stephen King movie, man. Uh... So, on Tuesday, ABC 13 spoke with Fiora's mother outside her home. She did not want to go on camera, but claimed that the man her neighbors have spent time with and was seen living with her with her nephew. She shared a picture of him, but neighbors refuted that claim, saying the person in the photo is not him. Now they're trying to wrap their heads around why either of them would say Fiora's was ever missing. Now, maybe she was running a GoFundMe if she was getting some type of financial aid or assistance or something. But uh, this is the weirdest shit I've heard of in a long time. You would think like the mother, what did she have to gain by hiding her son for eight years in the house? And really, she didn't hide him because he was coming and going using fake names. And you would think that the kid at that age knows what a fake name is and what his mom's up to, so why would he be participating with that? A lot of questions, man. Leave a comment, let me know what you think about this and what was really going down in that house with him and his mom, man. Why would she say that's her nephew? And why would she pretend that he was missing when he wasn't? and light up police multiple times. Hey, Big Herc 916. Hello, my name is Big Herc 916 and I'm with the Wash Your Ass Committee and I'm traveling across America helping people wash their ass and get their booty holes clean. And I have with me here today, Wash Your Ass Soap. And this one in particular is Butt Naked Scrub, but I also have Festival, Oatmeal Milk and Honey, You're Making Me Crazy, um, Monkey Farts, and all these scents smell very good. They will help cleanse your body of funk and also make you feel better about yourself. So if you can go to BigKirk916.com, you can pick you up a bar. And my goal is to help America combat funk. Go to the Herc store at BigHerc916.com and pick you up a bar of soap so you can wash that ass or pick you up some Never Settle for Average merch or some of the Muscle Up Car Lifestyle merch. We have hats, Never Settle for Average, got the Muscle Up t-shirts. We also have the Never Settle for Average tank tops. Got the Muscle Up Car Lifestyle hoodies. Got the beanie caps. Hey, man, represent. And I know you guys aren't average, so pick you up some swag and step your game up. Hello, I'm Big Herc 916. Contact me for life coaching and motivational speaking.
Lockdown's over. Get your yard time in. Exclusively at FreshOutSeries.com.